Hi, this is Crystal Marshall from MarshallStudioPhotography.com and today we're going to do something really funny because I was thinking about how there's so many videos on YouTube about how to make logos, how to do certain font types, how to do this, how to do that, and I thought, yeah, that's cool and I could do a tutorial like that, but how much cooler would it be if I did a tutorial how to make a logo on PowerPoint of all things, right? Because the average person, they don't have access to Illustrator. They don't really understand how to do it. It is kind of a complicated program for the average person. So what if um, I gave an average person some tips and tricks how to make your logo on PowerPoint, make it really simple with you know, one to two to three colors, um, depending on how, if it white as a color or black as a color, I guess, um, using a simple shape, using one font, and just making different versions of it. So here we go. Let's start. Let me move you to the side. There you go. Okay. So, so far I have, um, this is just a made up church that I thought of, thought it would be kind of fun. Um, I've been playing around with this name for a while. Uh, City of Refuge. I think that would be a really cool church name. So basically what I did was I took, these are the final uh, logo concepts. Here's one, here's one, here's one, here's one. So we have, you know, five, six, seven. we have about seven different versions of the same kind of concept. But they're all using the same font, which is back to black. I can put a link of that, you know, down below. And like I said, this is just me messing around to kind of give you some principles. I probably wouldn't use this font if I was doing a, a real logo because I don't think I've purchased the um, commercial license. But it, this is just for fun. Um, this is just me trying to find a cool font. I like it because it's very, uh, it looks kind of handwritten, has kind of a brushed effect, but looks really well with these uh, color schemes. So anyway, um, the only problem with this particular font is the T uh, likes to come over the I. So I had to individually uh, make each letter and stick them together. The of and refuge is all one font because I thought it looked really nice together. Okay, so principle number one. Try to use only, um, you know, black is definitely a color. Uh, white can be a color for pretty much any font that you do, because that goes with most things. Um, do a muted color, like a gray or a neutral color. So for example, city here is a, a gray color. This of is a gray color. Um, and then have one color pop. So you could do, um, let me try to see here. Here you go. Drawing tools. Let's see. Shape fill. So we have um, a bunch of colors that we could do. Um, anything over here would be considered a color pop. These would be muted colors or neutral colors and of course these are your black and white. So there you go. I really like this color. It's one of my favorite colors and I think it looks really well with the black and white. Plus mint is really in right now. So okay so let's start from the beginning and just kind of see how I did this. So this is a shape actually from this drawing board right here. Insert shape. All I did was find the one. Um, this one is the call out shape. So there you go. That's the shape I used. Um, of course this font. What I did with the font was I'm just doing control, copy, control, paste to kind of show you. I did uh, this effect so basically, it's just a very, very small uh, shadow, very uh, subtle with that. With this particular one, I did just the black with that subtle effect that I just showed you. This one is, is the same thing. I didn't do any of the effect. And it was just the of is a mint color. So as you can see, let me go back to the, um, the total boards here. Each logo is a very similar look on a theme, but I think it's important to have different kinds of looks because, for example, this might this one might look really good on a shirt 
Um, this one might look good really good in the bulletin perhaps, but it might not look really good on a website because it'd be like too much. Where this would be a really nice, beautiful, simple thing to just put on a website. I'm going to move that Y over here. See, this is the thing about PowerPoint. You have to really zoom in. See if I can get it, pick it up. Here. Oh, I did the whole thing. I grouped it as a group. And what you can do, how to do that, is like you want to control um, here. Uh, control, control, control. I'm holding control and tapping with my mouse. And then I do control G to group the entire image. So that's kind of what I did. Um, what is it? So I did that. Okay, so back to here. Let me zoom out here. It's funny, I keep using the quick keys from Illustrator, but they don't have them here. So here I did the, the muted tone, the of, above, and then I did the refuge in the color pop. This one is, is really, this one was really fun to make. Because basically, you can't do any kind of, um, vectorize graphics on PowerPoint but what you can do is that you can find a font or you can find um, maybe a clip art uh, with a transparent background so I found this font on my font list and this is called Boston traffic and this is actually the letter I oh, let me show you what it looks like this is actually the letter I that I have uh, made capital So there's all the letters here. So this is just the letter I that I turned sideways. And I thought that was a really creative use of, um, you know, I couldn't get any type of vectorized uh, clip art, like I said. So I really like the white and then the, the green color pop. Where did it go? This is, of course, very similar to the other ones, the, the black with the gray and the green here. This one is another one of my favorite ones where I used... A shape and I will show you where it is oh it's right over here so one of these is the shape right here there's a shape right there I think it's like a teardrop or something which is really fun okay so that's kind of some quick tips of how to make a logo using PowerPoint using very simple ideas, very simple concepts. I didn't want to give you a tutorial that had 20 different fonts, 20 different looks. No, when you're doing a logo you're looking at what is the total um, mood that I want to have. What can these use, be used for for different things? Um, you don't want to give um, somebody too many options that are way, way, way different unless they really want that. Okay, so I'm back. So after a really, really long break of trying to figure out how to save as a uh, PNG file in PowerPoint, I was going like this. I was going file, save as, finding the thing, and, and trying to save as a PNG file. Don't do that. That doesn't work. Um, after many tutorials and actually having to Google it, I figured it out. Okay, so what you're going to do is um, we're going to just take this very basic logo here. I'm going to make sure I have all of my effects, no shadows or anything, so it's a very um, regular plain image. I'm going to highlight all, control G for uh, grouping. I'm going to right click on it, save as picture. Right here, um, a box will come up. Let's see, picture one is fine. Um, I also want to see if I can make a white one as well. So control copy, control paste. I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna do this. Say uh, see it very faintly right there. I'm gonna do the same thing. I just want some options. Just in case. I don't like the black. I just, you know, random name is fine. Okay, so let's go to some random uh, picture I found on my computer. Just thought this would be really good watercolory texture. Okay, so insert picture. 
here is this oh just kidding that was my list that was when I was trying to do it and it didn't work as you can see that is a transparent background oh I love that let's fill up the frame here you see your slide right there love that okay so let's say I wanted to change this to white I can do it two different ways I can go over here oh that's kind of cool um, let's see uh, make some really cool interesting effects there okay so let's say I really just wanted the white change picture let me find the white one right here that's my file type ooh that looks so cool alright so that's kind of um, and you can save this as a watermark you can put it in Lightroom and um, you know put it on your photos if you know how to do that on Lightroom um, but that is a really quick a tutorial about what I did to get a uh, very simple uh, logo on using PowerPoint of all things so you can make some great things on there um, I used to use PowerPoint way back before I even used Photoshop or Illustrator or anything um, they had some really great options for people that are just starting out um, but anyway this is Crystal Marshall from MarshallStudioPhotography.com and hopefully that was uh, pretty fun looking at some really cool things you can do on PowerPoint to make your logo. So stay tuned and uh, see you soon.